Hello yogis, it's Rosalie here and welcome to this short, simple, circular or mandala flow. We're going to get a total body workout today in under 10 minutes. But the circular flow means we're going to be starting at the top of our mats. We're going to be going down one side until we face the back of our mats, up the other side until we're back at the top. Just enjoy it. Those of you who come to my classes or subscribe to my channel will know all of these moves. It is intended for beginners and I know you can do it. So let's get started. Starting at the top of our mats, bring your hands to your heart center. Take a big inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach your hands up, palms touch. Exhale, bend your knees, slowly draw your hands down your midline. Hands come flat on the mats. Inhale to a flat back. Maybe your fingertips can stay on the mat. Maybe they come up your shins. Exhale, palms come down, stepping back into a plank. Drop the knees down, untuck the toes, bring your chin and chest all the way down. Inhale, looking up to a cobra, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, forehead comes down, tuck the toes, pushing back into a downward dog and just pedal out your legs. Bending one leg and then the other. Let's inhale, sweep the right leg up. On the exhale, bring the right foot in between our hands in a runner's lunge, opening up through the chest. And let's drop that back knee down. Opening up through the chest, bring your palms to face towards the front of the mat, sinking through the hip flexor. Take a big inhale. And exhale, reach your hips towards the back. Hands come on opposite sides of that front leg, flexing the right foot. Keep reaching the crown of the head towards the foot. Now bringing the right foot flat on the mat, plant the left hand down, reach the right hand up. Maybe tucking the toes of the back leg, coming into a lunge twist. Now that right hand comes on the inside of your front foot. Keep sweeping your hands to look all the way towards the back of the mat in a runner's lunge at the back of the mat. Now let's drop that right knee down. This time interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale to look up. Opening up to the shoulders. Exhale, release your hands. Reach your hips back, flexing through that left foot. Keep reaching the crown of your head towards the foot in this half split. Exhale, put the left foot flat on the mat. Planting the right hand down, inhale, reach the left hand up, maybe tucking the toes of the back foot. Coming into our lunge twist. Place the left hand down, stepping back into a high plank. Shift your weight forward, come all the way down in a straight line to a low plank. Inhale back to high plank and one more time. Shifting your weight forward, coming down, keep those elbows tucked. Inhale back to high plank and pushing back into a downward dog. And let's just once again pedal out the legs. Let's inhale, reach the right leg up to the sky. And exhale, placing that right foot in between our hands, back into a runner's lunge. Plant the left hand down, inhale, reach the right arm up. Maybe coming onto the skinny edge of that foot this time. Exhale, both fingertips come down. We're going to bring the left foot in a little bit. The back foot's at about a 75 degree angle. Bring your hands to your hips, just making sure your hips are nice and square. Reach your hands to the back, grabbing opposite elbows. Take a big inhale and exhale, folding over that right leg. Keep reaching the crown of your head towards your foot. Coming into pyramid, breathing some space into the back of that right hamstring. Inhale, coming all the way up. Let's release the hands. Put a big bend in your right knee. Now reach your arms by your sides. Lots of energy through the fingertips and see if you can float the left leg up. Keep the standing leg bent to begin with, maybe starting to straighten it. And now coming up to a standing position, see if you can bring the left knee with you. So interlacing your fingers around that left knee. Finding a point in front of you, fix your gaze. 
Let's take our right hand to the outside of that left knee. Looking over the left shoulder now, maybe even reaching the left arm back, thumb facing up, coming into a standing twist. Exhale back to center. We're going to come back the same way. Big bend in your standing leg. Reaching the left leg out behind you. Fingertips by your sides. Big airplane. Maybe straightening out the leg. Now let's put a big bend in that standing leg. Allow your left foot to fall behind you. Coming into a crescent lunge. Keep reaching your hands behind you. Exhale, planting the left hand down. Inhale, reach the right hand up. This time coming maybe onto the outside edge of both feet. So flexing through that back foot. Reach your back arm all the way behind you, getting a nice big full body stretch. Bringing both hands on the inside of that bent right knee. The left leg nice and straight, sinking our hips, flexing through the left foot, coming into Rainbow Warrior. Leaving your hands on the mats or maybe bringing them into a prayer. Taking a big inhale and exhaling over to the other side. So bending through the left knee, right leg is straight. Big stretch through the inner thigh. And now exhale, hands come down onto the mat. Swivel on your back toes. We're in a back in a runner's lunge facing the front of the mat. Planting the right hand down. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Coming into our lunge twist. Maybe coming on the outside edge of the front foot. And let's place that left hand down, dragging the right foot in. Inhale to come all the way back to the top. Let's reach behind you, grab opposite elbows. So this time switch your grips. So just do the one that feels a little bit odd. Let's inhale, look up and exhale with a nice straight back, starting to reach our crown of our head forward, maybe stopping halfway, making sure our hips are still nice and even. And then exhaling all the way down, keep reaching the crown of your head towards the foot. Breathing some space into your left hamstring, into the shoulders. Inhale, coming all the way up. Releasing the elbows, put a big bend in your left knee, reach your fingertips alongside your body. See if you can float that right leg up coming into a swan. Maybe starting to straighten the leg, coming into a warrior three. Taking a big inhale, let's bring ourselves back to standing, bringing the right knee with us, interlacing your fingers around the right knee. Taking your left hand on the outside edge of the right knee, looking over your right shoulder, maybe even straightening out that right hand with your thumb facing up, coming into a standing twist. Inhale back to center, put a big bend in your left leg, reach your right leg behind you, fingertips by your sides, back into either a swan or a warrior three. Big bend in your left leg as you drop your right foot down, inhale coming up into a crescent lunge, keep reaching those fingertips behind you. And exhale, let's plant the right hand down, reach the left hand up, maybe coming on the outside edge of the front foot and maybe the back foot. Big inhale, dropping both fingertips down. So we're, so we're back into a runner's lunge. And now let's bring the right foot to meet the left, sinking your hips nice and low, making sure you're shifting the weight towards your heels. Coming up into a chair pose. Bringing your pinkies in towards one another. Keep sinking your hips down, squeezing your knees, squeezing your ankles together. Exhale, forward fold, interlacing your fingers behind you, reach your fingertips all the way overhead. Inhale, coming back into chair. And exhale, forward fold with the fingers interlaced. Inhale to chair, sitting nice and deep. Exhale, forward fold. Staying here for another breath. And exhale, bringing the fingertips down, looking up to a nice straight back. And exhale, one last forward fold. Let's put a big bend in the knees. Allow your hands to come on the mat, very heavy in the upper body. As we slowly, notch by notch, roll all the way up to the top. 
your head's the very last part of you to come up. And exhale, bringing your hands back to your heart center. Well done, yogis. See you next time.